Hey everybody, so today we are going to make some pork Asian meatballs to do honey garlic uh, meatballs. That will be the sauce. So these are going to be pork meatballs and then you could do any sauce you wanted to. So we are going to start out with two teaspoons. soy sauce one clove of garlic chopped up and one scallion chopped up you can use one to two scallions half a cup of panko crumbs a quarter cup of warm water and one egg oops minus the shell put on our annoying little glove I'm just going to mix all that up You don't want to mix them too much, but you want to make sure that you have all the flavorings and stuff combined throughout all of your meat. And you can make these and then freeze them, and they'll be ready for whenever you want. You can use them for appetizers. You can use them as a main dish. You can add them to ramen soups or your homemade Asian soups. Whatever you decide you want to use your balls for. And that garlic and that green onion is for when we are finished. you know, for our sauce. So I have my cookie sheet here. I have my oven preheated to 400 degrees. Let me put on the other glove here. Take a tablespoon and just make balls. There you go. Or you could use an ice cream scoop. This just ensures that they're all the same size. You can smell the soy sauce and garlic. That one looks a little smaller. And this is nice to have in the freezer. So if you need a quick meal, and you would put them in the freezer after you cook them. So you have a quick meal or 
a quick appetizer for a get together. Just whatever you like. And then I'm just going to make a quick and easy pan sauce when they're ready. I have some leftover rice, so I'm just going to do a quick fried rice. And that is going to be our dinner and whatever meatballs I have left. I will pop in the freezer. For a meal another day. And you can do these if you don't eat pork. You can do these with beef or chicken. Whatever you like. With whatever kind of sauce you like. If you have a bottled sauce you like, you can use that. So I'm just going to keep rolling and then I will put these in a 400 degree oven for 25 to 30 minutes until they're cooked through. Okay, our balls are ready. They actually took 15 minutes to cook and I'm going to put these in a bowl, make my rice, my fried rice, because I've left over white rice in the refrigerator, and then we will come back and make the sauce and throw them in there. Okay, we got our fried rice done, and I'm going to double the sauce recipe. done everything in the same pan you actually want your pan to be off the heat when you start need more soy sauce I'm going to put six tablespoons of soy sauce so that was two I want my bowl saucy. So this is a double recipe. You don't have to double it. Four tablespoons of honey. This is slow as molasses, this honey is. And if you wanted to spice it up, you could add some sambal. Totally up to you. And then two teaspoons of cornstarch. garlic. That can be one to two cloves depending on how much garlic you want. That was one large clove I had. You 
could also top it with uh, some sesame seeds. So we're going to stir this up and we are going to now turn on our heat. Oh, and we need a half a cup of water. So the original recipe is three tablespoons of soy sauce, two tablespoons of honey, one teaspoon of cornstarch, and a quarter cup of water, and one to two cloves of garlic. And you put that in the pan cold, turn your heat on after you get it all mixed together. And once it is thickened, you add your meatballs. Here's our meatballs. So while this is coming up to temperature, I'm going to put his rice on his plate. Ah, where's my dish towel? starch. Well that probably just took your light. <clears throat> this smells good. Let me see. Yummy. And you could also use your favorite bottle sauce of any kind. Here it comes to a bubble and it's starting to get thick. I'm going to add some of our meatballs. And like I said, after you cook these meatballs, you can just pop them in the freezer, defrost them in the refrigerator when you're ready to have them, and heat them up in whatever sauce you want to make. He wants five balls. And there it is. See when the sauce gets nice and thick? Looks really dark in this blue pan. Turn off your heat. Add your green onion. You could add sesame seeds. You could put it right on top of your rice. But there we have it. Our Asian meatballs and fried rice from leftover white rice. So if you have any questions, post them down below. I will taste this as soon as I hand this off to him.
we'll try one. Okay, I have a little tasting plate. See if I can do this without burning my lips off. A little green onion. Get it nice and saucy. Is your medicine not working, Mitzi? They're tender. They're juicy. They're not dry. And that sauce is just yummy. A little sweet. A little salty. Garlicky. And you can do the garlic to your taste. So anyways, there's my Asian ball recipe. You all stay safe. You stay healthy. Please leave a thumbs up, a comment, subscribe if you haven't, and I will see you all in the next video. Take care.